I'm going to show you how to make the vegetarian gravy of your dreams. First you take butter, heat it up in the pan. Then you add your onions, carrots, celery, usually twice as much onions as the celery and the carrots. Then you add thyme, parsley, dried mushrooms, porcinis, shiitakes, whatever you have on hand, bay leaf, garlic. Then I'm going to add a dollop of tomato paste. This is going to add a subtle sweetness to the gravy. It's also going to help the whole mixture brown and caramelize. You cook it down until it's almost jam-like. It's deeply caramelized. This is going to be the backbone of our gravy. It's what's going to give it its color and its flavor and just its whole character. This is maybe going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, which is sort of occasionally stirring over medium-high heat. Now you have this deeply caramelized, unbelievably flavorful vegetable mixture. Now I'm going to take some flour and sprinkle it over. The flour helps to thicken the gravy. I'm going to brown it just like I did with the vegetable mixture. The same way that you would make a roux for a gumbo. And now you can see that our roux is really deeply caramelized. I'm going to add some water, stir that in, and bring that up to a simmer and let that simmer for about 20-25 minutes until the flavors come together and it's nicely thickened. Now you can see that all of these steps and ingredients have transformed themselves into this satiny gravy. Now all we have to do is strain it. I'm going to scrape this gravy through the strainer using a rubber spatula to help push it through and pressing down on the solids to help extract those yummy flavors. Then I'm going to take some butter, it's cold and diced, and I'm going to stir that in. And this helps smooth out the flavors and also makes it really luscious. Now I'm going to add a splash of port. You can also use sherry or even red wine vinegar. It's going to counteract the long cooked flavors of our gravy. Oh, it's really good. For more tricks and tips, go to Severe.com.